in downtown Providence. You can get a good idea of some of these road conditions. Still have that sleet, snow covered roadways. Really need to take it slow. And 12 News reporter Jake Halter, he's out and about near. You're actually near the Jamestown Bridge, right, Jake? How are things looking there? That's right, Melissa. We are coming up on it right now. Um, and yeah, it seems like the snow is coming down a little bit harder than it has uh, for the past half hours, at least at least to our eye. Um, but as we're coming up, the bridge itself is pretty clear, which is good news. Yeah, yeah, you can see some of the snow coming down, but even less wet. You know, it looked like the Newport Bridge, which we saw last half hour, it looked a little bit wetter. This, it looks pretty dry, even though there are there are signs out. You want to be aware that it could be slippery, and especially again when when temperatures are you know below freezing, you want to be careful on on any bridge because it, it uh, definitely could be slick. Um, but yeah, if you're if you were going over the Jamestown Bridge, it doesn't look like it's uh, much of a concern at the moment, which is good news. We'll have another update from somewhere else in the state coming up next half hour. For now, reporting live in Jamestown, Jake Holter, 12 News. All right, and we want to check on 195 in East Providence, where the morning commute has been a nightmare on a good day weather-wise yes. due to the Washington Bridge closure. And we got some bad weather this morning to add to the mix. Joe Cortez right near the highway this morning. What is it looking like out there right now? Well, Patrick, Kate, just looking over on my left shoulder over here. This is 195 westbound heading into the Washington Bridge here in East Providence. It's starting to back up. There's plenty of folks out here on the road. Now, when we're talking about closures and delays, I just checked the website. There are over 100 delays slash closures between learning centers and schools all the way from South County down to Narragansett up here to East Providence and um, Seekonk and all the way up in Uxbridge, Massachusetts as well. So those delays and closures, make sure to check out our website at WPRI.com for the latest on that. Download our Pinpoint Weather and our news app. You can get alerts sent right to your phone. And uh, like Melissa was saying, take it slow out there. The roads are still pretty slick this morning. Reporting live in East Providence, Joe Cortez, 12 News.